What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, largest RV show in North America. I had to stop by this booth and show you guys a product that I think is super cool and one that I think you'll enjoy. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably saw when I was out at my official channel sponsor's headquarters, eTrailer.com, and we saw a smart plug that had been installed on the side of a used RV, or one actually one of the employees' RVs. It was super cool to see. Um, you know, they did a good job explaining to me what it's about, but I actually ran into the folks at Smart Plug. They're out here in Hershey. And I wanna take an opportunity here to get this gentleman to kind of explain the benefits, why somebody might wanna to switch to this from a traditional 30 or 50 amp connection. And I'll hand it to you. Give me, a, give me the rundown. What makes sense about this thing? All right, good morning. My name's Ron Bailey. I'm Vice President Global Sales and Marketing for Smart Plug Products. We're 100% US made product based out of Seattle. The whole purpose of this company is to eliminate fire risk on RVs and boats. So this was invented 15 years ago. Um, this is a very common occurrence with the twist lock systems that are in the industry. This technology was actually invented in 1938 and we're actually misusing this in the marine and RV industries. Um, this was the first drop ceiling electrical connection invented by George Hubble back in 1938. Wow. So the problems that we find with this technology, and we've deconstructed that part. So this is what's called a pin and a clip, which is what's used in all twist locks. So there's a tiny hole there, which clips into that dimple, yep. and we're trying to pass 30 amps of current through that little tiny contact patch. So this is one of the failings of the twist lock, and that this little contact patch isn't enough surface area to pass high currents. And at 30 amps, what we wind up doing with corrosion and over time, we start generating a heat spot here. Heat spot will lead to what we call a thermal event, which then eventually leads to a melted plug. Okay. So very common in the industry. Um, the inventor of this smart plug technology came up with a straight pin system, pin and clip. It slides in, it's self-cleaning. We have 27 times more metal to metal contact patch to allow us to pass high current with very low resistance, which then results in low heat. So yours is based on more of a friction connection versus just a standard dropping in a slot connection, in other words. So the twist lock is relying on a spring tension, but also mm -hmm. that little dimple mates to that hole. Got it. Um, we have a unique spring design that actually gets tighter as you pull down on it. Okay. And starting with 27 times more metal, we're gonna have a much longer contact patch over the mm -hmm. life of your vehicle. And it's a direct plug-in as opposed to a twist lock as well. Correct. Now, the owner also took the opportunity to improve the ergonomics of this package. So with a common twist lock, and I have one here, so you're having to look for this L-shaped pin. Everyone knows what that is. Mm -hmm. And you have to line that L-shaped pin up with the L-shaped opening in your plug. And if it's dark out, if it's angled, um, there's all sorts of issues with um, some of our customers with mobility issues and arthritic hands. Mm -hmm. This becomes difficult to mate. And um, also, most people don't tighten this up correctly. So this is actually a two-handed operation. You have to hold this to the right while you twist the ring with your left hand. And what we see most customers do is twist the ring and snug it. That's not tight enough. So what you wind up having is a plug that actually backs out by itself and it starts sparking internally. Okay. The smart plug system has this really unique bus, is what's called an asymmetric body. It's called castle to castle mating, it snaps straight in. So you can't put it in sideways, upside down, you don't even have to look at it, it feeds straight in. There's two side locks and then an additional lock on the top. So what we've done by that is remove all the tension from the pins. I was just about to ask you. When a cord's laying down like this, how are you going to support it from putting excessive stress here? And your top lock addresses so that top leverage. Top lock, two side locks, plus this body to body mating. So you see this goes internally and it locks in tight. So we cannot put any pressure on the pins with this technology. That is cool. This also gives us a waterproof connection. So this is IP56 rated, which means we can hold a high pressure hose on this without water getting up in here. So the other um, issue is uh, if this is running down the road, at 55, 65 miles an hour, we want to make sure that you're not getting water into the side of the coach. This is also IP56 rated. Okay, so the question everyone's going to ask is, how do you switch from one plug to another plug? It's going to require cutting off your old plug 
or going straight to your your box removing it and wiring a new one in right correct on the inside and then switching to a new cable on the outside right so there's two pathways we can take this program is actually developed as a DIY originally before okay. we got into big machinery to produce our own cables so what we do is you would snip off the end of your current twist lock cable splice this unit on and that makes you smart plug ready you do need to change the inlet on your your vehicle or your vessel um, the good thing about these units is the four bolt pattern that we use in the industry is an industry standard so if Great. you have a any of our competitors units on your coach if you pull that unit out ours will go right back in the same holes no re-drilling necessary okay so very, it's very about cool. a 15 minute job to change it out uh, we also do manufactured cables if you're looking for the best cable in the industry um, we have what's uh, called a super flex cable i'll show you this real quick so this is a 50 amp cable and this is the most flexible cable in the industry and oh, it'll wow. do that at freezing wow, that's cool. so very easy to handle you can put it in a nice tight compartment you know a, a basement on the on the vehicle um, and this is an over molded unit so this is extremely watertight okay but if you have a good cord set you can just snip off the end of your current twist lock and splice one of our units on okay so as easy as that i'm going to ask the question that people are going to ask in the comment how often does this actually occur to justify the cost of putting this on now i, I say this because obviously this is a product that's needed and desired because even my, my channel sponsor e-trailer, they don't carry stuff that people don't want. So yes. if they're carrying it, people obviously want it. Um, is this a bigger problem than most people would think? And that's my question. Do, do If somebody buys an RV out here today, it's got a 30 or 50 amp plug on it. Um, what's the chances of this actually occurring? And, you know, of course, this is going to alleviate that that chance ever occurs. But I'm kind of asking this like, you know, when you buy an RV, it has horrible crappy tires on it okay. but what's the chance you're actually going to have a blowout and i would say it might not be this huge chance it's going to happen but if it does happen to you you're going to really wish you had better tires right. and is that kind of the same scenario with this so if you go on youtube or a variety of other online um, outlets you'll see uh, rvers on there that talk about changing that twist lock out sometimes mm -hmm. multiple times a year okay so what it gets down to is what is your usage factor and what are the loads that you're using on your RV. So if you have two air conditioning units, if uh, your wife is blow drying her hair in the morning, if you're popping corn, um, the loads that you're putting on your inlet, if it approaches 45 to 50 amps, you're increasing the chances you're gonna have what's yep. called a brown inlet. So that's kind of an indication, a canary in a coal mine, that your unit is potentially gonna fail. Now, interesting story, we were at a huge rally um, a few months ago in Wyoming, and I was setting the booth up and a, a gentleman comes in and asked me if I had a twist lock we could sell because he came out in the morning and his neighbor was banging on his door and his coach was on burning and mm -hmm. there was smoke coming out of Zinland. This is the actual unit. Oh wow. And um, it happened that the rally um, organizer had one of our units there that they could sell him. But this was happening just a month ago at a rally that was mostly new yep. coaches. So this does happen very often. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, most people catch it before the, your unit catches on fire. But we look at it as increasing your peace of mind, making sure that you can sleep at night without worrying about these kind of conditions. In the summer, when you're really overloading your coach's electrical system, this is when this occurs most. Mm -hmm. Also, if you do use your unit in the winter, high heat loads can also call this type of failure. Yep, I kind of consider it the fire extinguisher, uh, the fire extinguisher scenario. It's good to have it, even though you're using it to avoid a problem or prevent a problem, yes. it may not ever happen, but to get the peace of mind to know that it's there and it may prevent the problem from ever happening in the first place, that's peace of mind. That's yes. what people want. And that's all. That's really what RVing is about, getting peace of mind, having the best possible towing experience, camping experience, and accessory experience. So that's very cool. It is. Anyways, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. All right. Super Thank cool you. product. My official channel sponsor, eTrailer.com, carries this as well. I've seen them install it, and you know the gentleman who has this on his RV over at eTrailer loves it. So I can definitely, I can definitely say that you know that's true feedback from someone who actually uses the product. Thanks again for your All time. Right. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.